what's good everybody I just woke up it is Tuesday the I don't even know where my phone is it's Tuesday the 6th of October it is Ten twenty-four on the sixth of October. Competed on the third. That's all done. Had a couple of days off. I've been eating and I've got very, very bloated. Yes, very, very bloated. Um, as you can see, I'm on my new camera. Hopefully, the quality is much better. It deals with light changes really well. Um. I'm back. I'm back in the real world after drinking, eating, and relaxing. Uh, I'm gonna go back on a diet tomorrow. I'm just gonna have one more day off. I'm just gonna relax. I'm not gonna go overboard today because I am really suffering condition wise and I've got a photo shoot on Sunday. So I'm gonna have to hit the cardio tomorrow, hit the workouts the next day, and the workout today. Um, so I'm just on the way to the gym. First, I need to go to the bank, put a check in, and then. We can start my day and I'll take you guys along with me for the first day back into the real world after coming second in the UK BFF finals. I won this baby here and I can't believe it. Next stop, the Olympia, the amateur Olympia guys. Not the real Olympia, but the amateur Olympia in Liverpool changes places every year. Uh, I can't believe I got the qualification to that. So that is three weeks and four days. So grind starts today. Right then, families, friends, and people of all ages, I'm back. I'm still tangoed, I'm still orange as fuck. Um, as you can see, I'm on the new camera. Uh, let me just show you. Oh, damn. You can't really see it that well, enough, but it is the Canon G7X. A lot of YouTubers have it already, I know. Um, but that's why I got it because they use it, they think it's great. Uh, Rob Lipser, Craig Ritchie, uh, those guys, they all use those, uh, this kind of camera, so I thought I'd join the team. And now the quality of videos will get better for you guys. Uh, I need to concentrate on looking at the camera, not the selfie screen right in front of me. Um, so, I'm back. Um, I've eaten a lot. Yes, I've eaten a lot. <laughs> um, but most of all, I've been enjoying my time off training because you know my body after nine weeks of prep was just dying or ten weeks of prep was just dying uh, I needed that I've had four days off the gym now so I'm feeling I'm ready to go I'm ready to go in there I'm gonna smash it uh, I'm just on the way to the bank first I'm gonna put a check in you know it's pouring with rain uh, and then I'm gonna head to the gym I'm gonna grab some breakfast in town actually because I haven't had breakfast bought for me what I'm gonna buy anyway, but I haven't bought breakfast in a long, 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 long time. So today is my last day of not eating properly on my diet. And then tomorrow, um, I'm gonna have to start my new program. So I have a new training regime, um, a new diet, dieting for so long in a deficit for that long. Um, it's not really healthy for you. So what I've decided to do is, it's kind of uh, have high and low days. So on the high day, my calories actually get above my maintenance level. So that's gonna be really healthy for me. It's gonna be really good for my hormones, which have taken a beating during this last prep. Um, yeah, and the low day is just gonna be fat burning days. And then uh, hopefully uh, we can get a bit tighter because we have the amateur Olympia. That's what it is. So when you saw the last video, you saw Olympia qualification. Oh my God, already? No, it's the amateur Olympia, um, which is which is essentially the best competition that I can do as an amateur. So I'm extremely happy that I get to do that. And that's in three weeks and three days, three weeks and four days, three weeks and three days. Um, so I'm really gonna have to concentrate on bringing a tighter package. Uh, I've also got a photo shoot on Sunday. So let's see how that goes, because I am bloated. And then tomorrow, the regime starts, so that is generally what's going on with me at the moment. Yeah, so no break from the diet, no break from, you know, staying lean. I can't wait to get fat afterwards, but 
last three and a half weeks is the push and that'll be it then I can have a big off season I can really grow and I can really give you guys some really good content of uh, you know changing workouts changing diets and really like pushing that muscle to grow because that's what I haven't been doing for the last 10 months <laughs> right, that was me getting my food, my breakfast. Uh, the first place that you saw, I don't want to like, film too much these people's faces, man, because they never, they never know how to react. They're always just. Some people will actually tell me like, no, you can't film in here. I'm like, well, I'm doing some promotion for free here. So. <laughs> but yeah, so I just try to keep it a bit slight. First place was Greg's. I grabbed a steak bake because I haven't had a steak bake in probably about a year, and I love them. Well, I used to love them, hopefully I love them still. Uh, and then I got a custard slice for the meat, so that pump I'm about to get. Um, and then I went to this place, it's like a local deli, and it's incredible, like, fresh cuts of meat every day, fresh cheeses from the, from the local farms, everything's local. Uh, the bread's made local, the butter's made local, the chutney's made local, and it's just like a, a really nice sandwich place. I'll, I'll show you it all in a sec, but... Uh, just driving to the gym where I will eat it in the car park and I will do a review of these foods. Peace. First up, steak bait. Mmm. You gotta get in there, you see. Oh, damn. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm, see the bits of steak in there. Oh, that shit's good. Mmm. I miss eating stuff like this so much. To the star of the show, we have Milano ham at the bottom, applewood smoked cheddar in the middle. We've got this chili jam chutney in between and then some salad leaves and a nice crusty white bread from the deli I haven't had one of these in since sixth form so four years since I've had one of these sandwiches I used to come every day see if they've lost anything Mm. That's that shit. Oh my god. The cheese is creamy. The meat is meaty and potent. The jam is sharp. The salad leaves crisp. You can't ask for more. What's up guys? Uh, I'm gonna quickly talk to you because about calories. Because I'm about to eat and I thought I'm gonna talk to you about calories. Right, what are calories? Calories are essentially just food. Like, you know, egg has a certain amount of calories. Anything that you eat and consume has a certain amount of calories. Um, our bodies have a certain amount of calories that we need to eat every single day in order to maintain our own body weight. So this is going to be completely rough uh, and a rough guide as to what calories are. So let's say me as a 85 kilo guy, six foot one, and my age, because all those things are taken into account when you work out your metabolism and when you work out the amount of calories you need to eat in order to maintain your weight. Let's say, for example, I need 2,000 calories to eat every single day to maintain my body weight. So if I eat 2,100 calories a day, I'm gonna gain weight, but I'm gonna gain weight you know, slower than if I eat 2,500 calories a day. So that's how we um, determine how much we're gonna gain weight and by how much. So if you, do, if you wanna be conscious of like fat gain uh, and not wanting to get the unwanted fat that you can have to lose anyway, then you wanna keep your um, calories you know, a couple hundred over you know, your maintenance level, not too high, maybe even 100. 
So you just kind of gain quality lean muscle and you don't just get all that unwanted fat gain. And vice versa, if you want to lose weight quickly, you, you make the deficit bigger. So if my maintenance level of calories is 2,000, um, you take it down by 500 and that's what's going to cause, cause a 500 calorie deficit and you're going to lose weight very quickly. But if you want to lose weight slowly, which is, what, which is optimal because all you want to do is lose that kind of the outside fat quickly instead of the muscle that's on the inside, um, you want to stick to a deficit, you know, 100 to 300 depending on how, how long you've been working out um, and how much cardio you're doing, things like that. Uh, the way to work out your maintenance calories, I'm going to put the website right here. So all you want to do is click on that link, uh, type in all your details that you see come up, uh, put in your activity level because it does count guys. So if you're a builder uh, and you're an IT technician, the builder is going to burn a lot more calories because he's walking all day, he's putting bricks up, he's doing this, he's doing that, and he's constantly moving so his heart rate is going to be higher than the guy who's sitting down as an IT technician just on the computer all day. So you need to take that into account when you're working out your calories. So let's say I was a builder, same build, same height, same size. I'd probably, you know, for example, complete get a complete guess. I'd have 2,500 calories to maintain my weight. But if I was an IT technician, I'd be 2,000. So that's the kind of difference that you can expect, guys, depending on the kind of activity level. So if you just go to school, uh, if you're in college and you're just kind of walking between lessons a day, you know, your activity level is no more than one to three hours because you're just, and that's just walking between lessons, you know. So there's four options that you can put for your activity level. One, two, three, and four. Four being the most active, one being the least active. I go on two. But if you're a kind of a student, if you're at a sit down job, I'd click on one and I'll just go from there. Uh, because you can always adjust to see what your weight's gonna do from there. Simple. Eat more calories than you burn, you're gonna gain weight. If you burn more calories than you eat, you're gonna lose weight. The main thing that you guys wanna consider here is what are, what are your goals? So if you wanna bulk and you wanna gain weight, then what you need to do is, is click on this link, Type in your details and put bulk. And that's it, that's as simple as it is. Read the calories on there. Start reading the back of calories on, you know, for example, I've just got this box, I can read the calories at the back here, and I can see what kind of calories I'm gonna be taking in. And that's the simple way to do it, guys, by just writing down the calories that you see off the back of the, back of the, you know, the packets and things like that. Or, you can go to MyFitnessPal, right here, uh, which, is what, which is what I use on my phone, my app, and you can scan the barcode and, you can, and it comes straight up with the amount of calories that you need to eat. And now the calculators are not always right. For example, mine was wrong and I was losing weight even though it said I, said I should be maintaining weight. Uh, so all you do is, is you weigh yourself every three to four days and depending on what the weight does, so if you're 70 kilos one week, three days later you're 71 kilos, you know that you're gaining weight and you know that if you're trying to lose weight, you're doing the wrong thing. And you know if you're trying to gain weight, you're doing the right thing. And that's when you will adjust your calories. Um, if you're gaining weight too fast, you will almost, you will um, decrease the amount that you're eating, but still keep it in that surplus. So 2,000 is my baseline. Uh, if I'm gaining weight too fast at 2,500, I'm getting quite fat, quite chubby in the face, anything like that, I'll take them from 2,500 to 2,250, for example. Just an example, guys, completely random calories amounts there. Each person has a different amount, and these calculators will not predict it dead on. What will predict it dead on is by getting a baseline and working off it. So when you work with meal plans with me the first week, is more about getting that baseline for your calories. So I can give you a certain amount of calories you'll eat every single day. If your weight doesn't change, I know exactly where your metabolism um, baseline is, and the, the, the amount of weight that you're not gonna, uh, the amount of calories that you're gonna eat and not lose or gain weight. At the end of the day, calories are just calories. So if you have two Big Macs a day and they equals a deficit, you will lose weight. Yes, guys, you will lose weight eating Big Macs. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. McDonald's, Burger King, all these kind of fast food things. You don't get the bang for your buck, you know. You've got a 700 calorie burger, it's this big, yeah. I can, if I have 700 calories, I could probably make it out of my own meat, my own mints. I could get some nice whole wheat bread. I could probably have chips with it, like I'm talking sweet potato chopped up, put in the oven, and it would be like this, guys. It'd be a huge meal. 700 calories, that's a big meal for me. I normally have about 500 calories a meal, and they're still quite big. It's just because I pack them full of low calorie foods, uh, things that are gonna keep me full, and whole grains, whole grains which are gonna really like digest slowly, such as sweet potato or oats, you know, these, these things they digest over a period of time keeping you fuller for longer, so you don't end up eating this, you know, this horrible, stupid stuff which you shouldn't eat because it's not good for you on the inside. Can't really think what else to say about calories other than it is just the amount in versus the amount out, so depending on your goal, guys, you guys get to choose how many calories you eat. Um, that's it, I hope you enjoyed this little short Josh cast. Yo, my memory ran out then, but deleted it, now we've got space. Um, hope you like that little insight into calories. Um, 
if you want to see anything else, you know, uh, macros, fats, proteins, carbs, if you want me to break those down into like little short videos, comment below on anything that you want to do to do a fitness, nutrition, anything like that. And I'll do it, guys, you know, because I want to give you guys what you want, what you guys want to see, uh, and what I guys want to tell. So, I guys, what I want to tell. Uh, so don't forget to rate, comment, like, and subscribe just to help this channel grow, help it get better. Um, peace, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to have to go Hodge Twins on this ship. Look at that. Look at it. Now respect it. Look at all the flavor. Look at all of that. Mmm. 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 Yeah.